All right, let's continue Animal Crossing. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. Uh, there's no villager search today. <laughs> Unless one of them wants to move out, but we'll see. It would appear that the fishing contest is here today. Or something. Gonna begin the process of just grinding Nook Miles, but I might do some building as well. Oh, Julia's already here. That's all for today. I got a thousand nook miles. And then here's the spider. first. Okay, so it is fish day. Bunch of money in the bank, so berry. <laughs> so today, Moose is going to be moving. A full line of money trees. isn't it? Yeah, we don't want orange. Don't want red either. Wait, is this normal?
Um, this is not normal. Just looking at this diagram. I think what I need to do is this. It's really hard to tell. So far, no luck. Oh uh, man, that's such high effort. This hasn't rained in game, I've been waiting so I can get the uh the coelacanth or whatever that fish is called. It just hasn't come up yet. Thank you. 
Okay. Well, let's trust that that's done. One more fossil. a basket set. Oh, this is nice. Where is this last fossil? Here it is. Lovely statue. Fortunately, I won't find any information about it. Damn. Okay. T-Rex Torso, Quetzal, Megalo, Quetzal. Okay, nothing valuable. I'll do this first. If it isn't well welcome, you're always stopping by and I can never stop working and have a proper chat. Sorry about that. Hmm? The photos behind me, they're of me and my sisters when we were younger and our parents. They both passed away years ago, but these pictures bring back lots of good memories. I was pretty young when they died, so I don't remember them all that well. But I do remember a Sable doing her best to raise me all on her own. Thanks, sis. Sorry I was such a pain. You feeling okay, Mabes? What happened to calling me Grable and making fun of my apron? Come on, sis, I'm trying to have a moment here. Yeah. It's not like we ever talk about this stuff without Will to play a referee. Don't be mean. 
I'm sorry, that was out of line. Any anyway, right, we should talk more. You're an adult now. I need to treat you like one. And I'm really proud of you, Mabes. You're doing a lot of things I could never be, little sister. I took care of you and Label when you were younger, but now we can all watch out for each other. And when Able sisters work side by side, there's nothing we can't do. Such lore. Guess I'll go all fancy. Or I could go Viking. Get that out of the way. Someone's gonna have a fleet today, it would appear. Oh, this is actually perfect. CJ coming here at you, um, well, it's more like standing by you, I guess. Yep, yep. Anyway, ever since I started doing my sea sports challenges, I've been trending in a huge way. It's so slick, each time uh, uh, someone navigates a challenge, I offer to buy up their fish, even pre pre premium. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five fish in a row. Okay. Easy. for little fish so I don't mess it up.
Could try going for the hundred fish in a row thing. I mean, if I want to make money, that's not a bad way to do it. Okay. <laughs> I forgot I dumped that there yesterday. No way, I already caught five fish in a row. It's gonna make the chat explode so much for well, something something. <laughs> yeah. And the leftovers from yesterday. Nice. Imperial dining table. Oh, I can buy it. Just, just gotta get money out. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this. For a later idea. It's just because the camera angle here. You won't know it's one until you get up close. Couldn't see it. Tired of using the same old reactions? Well, you're in luck. It's random acting lesson time with your host, Phil. Okay, so let's say you want to look self-satisfied, but in a charming movie style kind of way. I got just a thing. Grease up those teeth and get ready to smile wide, just like this. You'll find that smirking exudes just the right amount of confidence. Use it well. Oh, no.
I'm moving stuff. time being. What do you mean there's no room? This room. do something with that. Oh, right, I had fossils from the islands. Whoops. buy another store. Hang on, I need a hundred thousand. 
Oh, no. Because I'm going to do the artwork thing as well. That should be enough. Go buy that fancy table. Just gonna clear up r random junk that I sort of just placed for the sake of placing. Some of the stuff will get used, it's just right now. I'm going to go back to a state where there's not a whole lot, and then I'll work on things. It was just to get the island rating up. Which, that's been done now. Stay for now, I guess. for it. Close must I be to be finishing this already? Or I'm just that unlucky.
gonna go to halves real quick now. <laughs> That's gonna fake me out at some point. Let's go. Uh, I need to bring up the op guide one sec. I should bookmark this page. <laughs> I keep bringing it up. Okay, uh, we are looking. This one I don't think is real if I remember correctly. Yeah, the, the real one doesn't have the scent in a bit. This one, let's get a closer look. I think this one's fake as well. The real one has a tiny stream, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, <laughs> it's fake. Well, if I'm gonna buy fake art, this is at least a sculpture. Yeah, it's fake, but I'll use it somewhere. Maybe. It's my pleasure to introduce my good friend Sahara, who sells the finest rugs and wallpaper around. Hello friend, I have come from very far to be here, but curiously I am very happy to have done so. Now then, Harvey's words are the truth. I have rugs, wallpapers, and flooring. Only the best. I will not pretend that I do not enjoy selling them. I enjoy selling a great deal. And I hope you enjoy buying. I've been thinking about some new wallpaper and flooring myself, to tell you the truth. For Photopia, of course. And all, I'm all set up at home. They don't make shag carpet the way they used to. Anywho, hope you find something you love, Will, and happy shopping! Okay. Graveyard wall. White chocolate wall. Imperial tile, brown shaggy rug, watermelon, yeah. I'm curious about this one. is not bad. Boring, but you can do something with it. I got a couple of these. Okay. <laughs> 
bought any X, but... Yeah, just to get the rest of the stuff. That just leaves the shoes and storage. Like I said, this is gonna get cleared. Clean slate. I'll leave some things around, like, this makes sense to have up right now. Should get these at some point. I'm just checking the fencing, see if there's anything. I might get this one because this is kind of Australian themed. Or you can do like a almost like a rough garden with that. What's the point of that when you have actual fencing that looks like that? Alright, I'm not gonna go down too much of a rabbit hole with this. One, damn it. Yes, I'm going to put that where the museum is. Okay, but otherwise,
hang on, I'm gonna look something up. Where do you get the design browser thing? Um... Yeah, this thing, Custom Designs Plus. Keep talking to Sable every day. Pro does decorating license. Oh, maybe it's already there. I'll have to have a look. I feel like I've been talking to her for at least a week. can do that. That's interesting. I've been talking to her for a week. Or it's like on the just on the edge of it. No, it's not there yet. Okay. Well, it's good to know that it's pretty much there. Alright. Time to do some heavy work. covers everything. So, miss, do you want to move where Will thinks you should move? I don't mind at all. Just tell me where stuff's gonna go and I'll start lifting. I mean, I want you to move out, but in the meantime...
this rock has to go now. start this process. Where's the main street? Okay, this will work. Coincidentally, that lines up kind of well. laziness thing, but I'll do it nonetheless. these. Okay, these are moving. to happen at some point.
I'm probably gonna replace it ultimately, but just planning. It'll help with the divide. Dividing things into plots now. Sad thing is I'm probably going to replace all this, but it's fine. for an hour, at least. Hello, witch Patricia. How's it going? Welcome. Don't mind me just uh, paving a road that I'm probably going to replace with something else eventually. I've been getting rid of my placeholder dirt. Balloon. 
flight meal. Oh, that's kind of nice. If we, it could be good to play Slays like in Happy Home Paradise, it would be so much easier. Yeah, hopefully whatever they do next with this series, they just take what they did in that and just make it available on your island. That and some of the stuff that was missing from New Leaf. move these trees. I have a whole mess of trees to move. Okay. For now. Put my next bridge there. Maybe the museum doesn't need a bridge behind it. All oh, right. I guess I can finish this off. What's the name of my island? Chamblonia. <laughs> like... The stream name, I guess. I was not feeling very creative. So I made it like a nation as opposed to like a town. On Nippon Isle and Ishgard. You name one Japan Island. Is it very Japanese in theme? But does add a chocolate? I had no idea. What makes this chair cool? Oh, it's like... I don't know, I wouldn't call that cool. It's just... Fancy, modern. Yeah, I guess that's not a brand we have in Australia. That's why I didn't pick up on it. Germany. Oh, no kidding. I have a few German viewers, and my brother's partner is also German.
I like the language, I just like how there are words for basically everything. And the, uh, the Barbara Tongue Twister, it's so good. so many English words that are used in Germany that it's crazy. You love English. English? Yeah, I mean... I think the thing I don't like about English is it's just inconsistent. Especially if you're learning it as a, a second language, it's just... You trip over pretty easily. You think something's gonna follow a particular rule and then they tell you, No, 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 see, it doesn't work that way for this word, and this word only. Like... Okay, so you have a goose. If you have multiple gooses, they become geese. But if you have a moose, if you have multiple of them, they don't become mice, they're mooses. I had to learn English after learning Spanish first and it was not easy. And then there's the whole American versus British English thing as well. In Australia, we kind of get both. So it's, yeah, it can be tricky. You got business English in school, and that was hard, I can imagine. But the comfort comforting thing to know is that even people that only speak English don't speak it very well, so... If you struggle, feel like you've had a little bit of a struggle with English, don't feel too bad. <laughs> even English speakers struggle with it. That is in German the same. Oh, okay. Oh, I keep doing this. I would like to visit Germany one day. That's like a country that I definitely want to go to. Okay, I'm gonna tear down this pond. Let me look at my map. Am I? Hmm. I guess I kind of have to. I need to think how I'm going to divide this land. Cool. 
because I want them to have enough space so I can decorate. I'm thinking. It's a little, it's a little bit awkward. Because that top, this top right part, I can't get rid of it, it's a river opening. Okay, what am I going to do with this? <laughs> I almost feel like taking a screenshot of this and putting it in. Photoshop and just drawing boxes on it. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, I got this. I will use... Ooh, is this Alice wanting to move out? Is it true you've been looking for a tea with a silicone bib? Aha. Uh -huh. So, funny thing, I might have gone ahead and picked you up with a. <laughs> like a baby bib? What do you mean? Uh, oh, okay. Let's. I get it. going to be my guide. The house is moving after tomorrow. Wait. Ugh, making it worse. <laughs> So if I now... I'm going to angle the land. So this is going to get cut off. And then I guess I have to... So the river doesn't get too thick, I have to adjust it up the top as well. I just have to flip the river how it is. But I can make it work. So then, hold on. Property lines. Let me see if I'm standing in the middle.
that is roughly it. Let's see. See, hang on. Uh, okay, it needs to go across. Let's see. This is not correct. It might be off by one, but... I guess the right side's gonna have the beach next to it. Okay. Okay. I knew I would have to move houses. line. Oh, thank you for the follow, Patricia. Appreciate it. Now... I mean, these lots are going to be a little bigger. Okay, hang on. Hmm... I don't want it to be that big. What if... I mean, either way I've measured it. I guess they're going to be more narrow. Something I didn't account for is this. <laughs> this is going to look really bad, but I need my guidelines so I can picture it. Oh, thank you for the luck as well. This is the only way I'm going to visualize this.
see now, it's, I can definitely see it's off. just chilling there in the background. take a look. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's either going to be off by one or it's just never going to work. Once it's marked out, then we'll be fine. All right, let me see. Yep, that's it. Okay. Now I gotta go erase the rest of it. Okay. 
built, please. No. I guess that means the road should be here. To split this up. Maybe a little lower. Yeah, that seems about right. Although... I need a straight down the bottom. Hmm. Let me do the straight down the bottom first. I don't want it to be, like, hugging it, but... You like catching fish, right? Well, I've kind of got a proposal for you. Can you find me an olive flounder? That's it. That's the whole proposal. I suppose. Alright, I think I can count on you. Can't wait to see how big of a fish you, fish you catch. Since I have to catch fish later anyway. I have so many buttons on the controller, interact and build have to be the same button. I should be able to see where this street should go. I think it would be roughly here. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe one higher. Which now has me thinking about this. This bridge was temporary. I could adjust this. Hmm. Alright, well I'll draw this in at the very least. Be able to finish this road. <laughs> this house is in the way. If 
but I think I got the right idea. Is the other right end? Oops. The other okay. So it's on this line where it ends. Okay. Now to plan out where the actual house will go. Do this, so hang on. Two, three, four. That's as wide as it needs to be. here. And then this one, just so... I guess I still have access to this. Getting rid of the tree. <laughs> ah. Uh, okay. Of all the times for it to break. I've never seen that before. A 
I bet you can customize it with a custom design. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Did I go too wide? No, it looks about right. Okay. And I guess just so I'm not using too much of my imagination here. Admittedly, I'm creating a little bit of an island right now, but that house is moving. Uh, before I continue... So I'll look fine tomorrow. Yeah, 
Um, One more. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Bye, fish. Because Alice is there. It's because Alice is there. Wow, okay. And then this will go tomorrow. And that'll be the new shoreline. <laughs> I hate to be mean. This is just so I can finish the job. You may now go back to what you were doing. Sorry, no more pond. It's getting filled in. I'll make a new one. This is rezoning. Okay, 
Now the big question I have. Gonna be the bounder or something. Not sure what it is yet. I mean, I'm debating on putting the two shops here, but then I feel like they'd be too far away. Anyway, I'm drawing squares and rectangles. Ooh, shit, that's something I didn't consider. Do I want the fence to be in line with this? That might look weird. Maybe not. I'm trying to visualize how this would look. Give it like a breathing room of one. Have I done it across here? Okay, here. Uh, I guess that's fine. Here I've got it like right up against the. I don't have breathing room. Okay, maybe it'll be fine. I can always shift the back one if I change my mind. Debating whether or not I should put the road along the bottom. Hmm. 
Yeah. I'm gonna move the stores. It just makes sense to do that. The more I look at it, it just makes sense. Because this road connects here. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Okay. Well, then the stores are going to move up here. gonna be over hours. Okay. So let me... Let me get some fruit so I can move trees. You like how the rivers are from one good pond? From one good pond? But hello, Lazy Lucy. Oh, need to think. There's another way I could play this. I could make that central island a store island. Hmm. Just how heavy of construction do I want to do here? No, but I, the problem is I've put a bridge here. I'd have to take out the bridge, and which it's a minor problem, but how am I? I'm doing okay. Just planning how to lay out my island. So I'm drawing um, boxes on the map, and then figuring out like what I'm gonna do with it. It's a bit of a struggle because. I don't know if I want to pick lazy or go the whole effort. But this whole back part of the island used to be just cliffs and everything. <laughs> Got rid of it completely. So, the plan is each village is going to have their own plot of land and I'll do something with it. So, at least the back part of the island is okay. But now. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna lay things out everywhere else. Yeah. How about you? Uh, what's what's going on? What are you up to at the moment? Hopefully, nothing as tedious as what I'm about to undertake. So my options are, I think I've definitely agreed that I need to move the stores and this main road and this bottom bridge, they're going to go and move. So like, there's going to be a road that cuts across this way. So that's going to happen. It's just, where do I put the stores? There is here, which is an easy solution. Or if I want a more complicated solution. I was gonna just make this museum island though, I don't know. Hmm. I'm leaning towards putting them up here. Hmm. 
How wide is the store? One, two, three. Hang on, I'm just gonna measure. Okay, so it's five wide. And this one is wider. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five and seven. I'm gonna put the bridge down because that is definitely something that's going there. I'll do that now before I forget. I wish I could have laid this out sooner. Probably would have been a good idea. But I didn't want to sit here for hours doing that at the start. Okay. Uh, do I have to be right up against it? The angle's gonna mess me up, isn't it? Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, okay. So that means the edge of the shop should be here. So this would be the shop. And then I guess if I follow the same rule. Which leaves, leaves this small slither in the middle. actually works because this will still be accessible and I can leave that clear I'll just mark it so then I know So, uh, no, I won't put my warp pipe there. I'll figure out where to put it. Okay, but there's plenty of room. How wide is it? Is it... Oh no, this is... Okay, I want to see how far it's going to stick out. I 
it's going to stick out four. Same with this one. No, this one sticks out two. So the shop is extra wide. I might have to flip this. Because then this will leave this still accessible. So then this would be... Is it really four wide? One... Yeah, I guess it is. Oh no, this one is three wide. Okay, so either way it's a problem. I, it would have no clear way. I'll just leave it, but I'll know that it'll come up to the... Okay, I need to move these trees. I don't know why Sharp is the first option. Okay. I got some rocks to take out as well. Trust the process, it's gonna work out. Okay. I marked all the fruit trees with the stone, so then when they weren't with fruit, I would know which one's which. Ok, 
Okay, so I have... Some room. Let me see what I can do here. Because we don't have a pond. I don't know if this placement's going to be annoying or what, but let's just see. Even if it's a relatively small one. Where's the door? Hang on. Door is... Okay. Second from the right. And door is directly in the middle. I just want to make sure I can walk to it, so... Okay. So there's still a bit of room. be here. I don't know, this looks a little too perfect. Hang on, I left one. Hmm. Let me see if I can just make it a little more... I guess, stranger in shape. to do what I want it to do. I mean, as long as fish appear, I guess it's fine. I'll walk away from it for a minute. I haven't seen any fish yet. Oh no, yeah it works. Okay. Then... For pure aesthetics...
Oh, I should have put back on. Hang on. Likewise, hold on. Oh, well, that'll that'll grow. That's fine. It's, it's fine. It'll grow. I mean, yeah. one tile on each side. Okay, that's planned. <sighs> now Hey, Mrs. Ham, how's it going? Ugh, I just did this earlier, but... I guess it's going now. You're sad, why is that? That isn't half full. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry to hear. Hopefully nothing serious. I hope it's not from malignant. Yeah, damn. That bridge was free anyway. Hopefully you can uh, chill for a bit, get your mind off stuff, and just laying down the foundations for the city. I mean, you want to say so? I mean, here it's a mess. Just don't focus too much on here. But I've divided visually into plots of land. But then, up the back where I had all that high ground, it's completely gone. So now it's. I mean, it's empty with the exception of this one. I've got a little bit of a start on it. So 
then they have a plot of land where they can, uh... Well, well, I will decorate things accordingly. I'm just dividing things into rectangles, and then each rectangle I'll do something with it. That's generally the idea. And I did leave some semblance of a higher ground area. This is still here. But then I haven't done inclines to finish it as right now. This area is a bit of a mess because it's uh it's doing this at the moment. But eventually this will be completely cleared out. It's just right now. Hybrids. <laughs> it's just dedication. Um Museum. I mean, it's getting there. I'll put another bridge here. I haven't... All those flowers over there was just me shoving all the flowers that I had from the cliffs in one area. But I will do something more with it. And then the stores are going to move here. So it's like a little pond. Clothing is currently here because I put it for convenience sake. And then yeah, here is like... Well, you can see it on the map. Four plots of land that I've marked out. And then I'm gonna build a road along the bottom. So then there'll be another two, maybe three plots of land this way. But either way, this, yeah, these stores have to move. So they'll be going up here. And then this will still be clear, like I can hop along here if I want. As far as actual villages go, I mean, I don't know. I don't know when was the last time, but those are my current ones. Um, I had Moose and Phil are going. And then I'll get two new villages. I just need to get them to move, particularly Moose. But I got Julia yesterday. I did not go to anywhere near the efforts that I'm going to. <laughs> The first time I played this. Not the flowers, nope. The construction of what I did, it was pretty much more or less what the island was. I didn't change it too much. That's, that's about it. That's what I've done so far. I delete the island. No, it's just on a different console. I still have it. It's just on a shelf. It's, its battery doesn't last, but it's still there. If I put it in a dock, it, it's functional. So 
so now I have to think about what I'm going to do with this tree situation. Okay, well this has to go. Funny thing is I'm probably not gonna go with brick path. This is just so the lines appear on the map and I can see what I'm doing. I will probably have to redo all this. The road at least. Once I get the actual pattern browser thing. Okay, but, you know, let's say the bridge, get rid of that bridge. Um, the river might have to change in shape. Maybe not too much. Keep it somewhat natural. Then I guess let's see where this goes. I'm surprised this lined up like this. That was... that's not planning at all. <laughs> it's just purely coincidental. figure out how many more plots I have to make. Because what, I'm at... With the four on the other side, I'm at... Hang on. I'm at eight, I think. Yep. So then I just need another three plots. Somewhere. If I divide... that part into three... Just thinking. Yeah, I would have to try and divide it into three somehow. It's just that curve of the... Yeah, that curvature is like a little awkward, but I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, I could probably work around it and just say... There's nothing wrong with having that part. Like, not every block has to be perfect. I think it works out. I think I can get all 11. On... yeah. And then leave this west side for, like, maybe agriculture or something. Because I do want to have a, a spot for fruit trees and whatnot. Yeah, perfection and imperfection is one of those things that's like... Symmetry is very appealing, but when you do something asymmetrical and you do it well, it can be just as visually appealing. Okay. But at the very least, this, this works. And then... What will happen... Up here. I got this. It's 
a very difficult thing to do correct is like a lack of symmetry can cause it to draw bad attention to something it's like oh that doesn't look right or it could be like oh that looks kind of cool and you just won't really know until you try okay so pretty much there'll be an incline Once this is gone, this road will go down the middle. So the intersection will be here, and then it'll go down. To here. Now I can figure out what to do. It's just right now I can't really do anything with these flowers. It's just... So it leaves like something to put here. Not sure what. We have... we'll have like this massive plot here. I'll probably divide. Okay. So let me now plan this out as best as I can, because there's stuff in the way, but it's fine, I can still do it. I guess that answers what I'm going to do with the trees for now. I'm going to move them all to the west. So I should probably get the west area, like, neat. At the very least, the fruit trees. So then... I just go to one spot. I think eventually I will just cut down how many fruit trees I have anyway. Am I making a very modern city? I don't know. It's just... I'm just... Dividing things into plots of land. I don't have a theme yet. I don't think I'll have an overarching theme. It's just gonna be... Particularly with the villagers' houses, I'll just do something that suits them. Like, you can kind of see it already with Pico's, right? Like... Pico's house... Has that very oriental look, so I got... This... And this, and the bamboo. was a bit of a start. And then I got this sort of thing going on. This is Alice's house, but it's, you know... These trees grow in Australia. Yeah, a different theme. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my house, but that's the least of my worries. And then... Audi is in the woods. Pekka, Pika, I don't know. It could be Pekka, it could be Pika. It's probably Pekka. This stone needs to go. I already hit it earlier. go as well. I already got rid of it. Okay, so what I'm going to do Oops. 
slight alteration. Why? I, that's what I wanted to do. Now I have to redo it. I swear this thing is so inaccurate sometimes. Slightest of alterations. Hey, Colorin, how's it going? Here, <laughs> just okay. I have to imagine where this fence line is gonna go. I'm almost positive the fence line is like roughly here. I don't wanna make this too narrow. You're doing harassment training because your coworkers live with you. Wait, what? <laughs> harassment training? It does kind of sound like you're going to learn to harass, but... Either way, let's just say I got the fence to here. I think it's fine. Harassment prevention. Okay, gotcha. That's the easiest, learning the easiest way to harass someone. And then this makes this shape, like, a little less awkward. Okay. Now... Can I destroy that bridge? Let's 
let's see. I might not be able to because the other one's already. Bridges. Yeah. Heaven forbid we do two things at once. Okay. It's fine. I can do the shaping, at the very least. Okay, it's just this this part here is the part that I disagree with. It's just... Again, small adjustment. It's just in the, in the interest of making this usable as housing land. It can keep its character, like I'll do something similar, right? It's just gonna be moved. As this bridge is going, so there we go. No, I need that. I need to go trim off the museum side. Get this more or less how I envisioned it. Need the body. Da. Okay. Move it back one. This tree has to go. Okay, so... How does that look now? Yeah, so I mean, it's still... I just cleaned it up a little. It's not... 
perfect. But at least it's a bit easier to work with now. Okay, now... As far as land division goes... I'm gonna start drawing this path out to represent the fence. So it'll, I guess realistically it should go here. Yeah, that's 11. I think this one's in the right spot. Let's see how this looks. Having the fence line there would make sense. Yeah. I think it's always going to be off by one. It's fine, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be like perfect split, but I think it'll look better if there's a plot of land that's as wide as the town square. Okay, and then this will have a fence, so I can do something, something here, maybe a little park or something, I don't know. Okay. I hope you can visualize it. <laughs> I guess I'll just, as a very temporary measure, just put the pipe here until the stalls move. Okay. I think this will work. If you look at if you look at the breakdown, I'm going to. Because that this plot of land is like very chopped, so once the bridge goes, I'll move the river line back, keep the same thing, but just move it to the left, so then it doesn't look so chopped, and then the piece of land won't be too bad. I think it'll it'll look fine. It's just right now, admittedly, it is a bit tiny, but I will make it work. There's enough, there's enough room. There is enough room. If I go by this edge here, there is enough room. And let me just... So four up the top, four to the right, 
three down the bottom, that's 11. Perfect. Which will leave the entire west side with whatever I want to do. Okay. I think I'm on board. Now, there's one annoying thing that I gotta do. And this is just, again, a purely temporary measure. my own house. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. How long? I've been doing this for three hours. Jeez. I didn't even realize. I wanted to play Sea of Stars. I will still play Sea of Stars. But... This, I, I'll be happy once I've laid down the plans for this and then it's just a matter of executing on it. Okay. I'm probably gonna need a bunch to eat. Let's just take three stacks. <laughs> Movie night? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I gotta progress on CS Stars, because Mario is tomorrow, and Spider-Man, so... There's just too many games at the moment. Alright. You'll have to forgive how I'm about to lay these out. But it's better than what's currently here. It's gonna be very reminiscent of New Leaf. I love how I'm just eating a coconut hole, just skin and everything. Or husk? Coconut husk? I don't know. Shell? It doesn't matter, I'm eating things that shouldn't be edible. Okay, uh... Is there any benefits to eating? It gives you energy so you can move trees. Pretty much. I don't like putting stuff this close, but it's just currently I don't have a lot of real estate, so... This is a necessary evil at the moment. It is unfortunate, but I just, I need to condense until, yeah, you can move trees. As long as you've eaten and you have energy, then you can just shovel them out. Like so. Thank you. 
But the the only thing that'll be messy now is just the houses in the way, the trees and everything. They'll be at least arranged. Very condensed, but arranged nonetheless. When all is said and done, I will not have them this close together. I will have the normal trees with more breathing room so then I can still catch bugs. But this is just purely so, yeah, fruit can be harvested easily, quickly. Condenses the morning. Hey Hawaiian Orc, how's it going? Those are some tramp, uh, cramped quarters. I know. I said you'll have to excuse it. It's just... At the moment, I... Because everything's kind of... Under construction. Once these flowers go, I'll, I'll stop, but it's just... At the very least, the fruit trees I'm gonna... Put in a corner somewhere. You love the flower garden. Which one? The one with like. All the scaffolding, or the one with just flowers. The one with scaffolding is just meant to act as an easy way for me to grow hybrids. It's in a very deliberate order. Scaffolding, I mean fence. I mean, I call it scaffolding. It's just design scaffolding. It's a layout. They are grid lines, they're markers, guidelines. Oh, I forgot to pick up. Good news is I can remove these uh, rocks that I mark the trees with. That's just so I'd know which ones were fruit trees. Okay. I don't think I can plant one here. It's too close to the bridge. Probably plant one here. I'll try. You never know. Going through all your unpacked stuff, you lost the second one at her arm. Oh no. Striving for a situation where people need to make minimal contact with you in a workplace scenario, that's it's a good thing. Maybe I shouldn't put it there. At the very least I'll put these here. Yeah. 
I, I know, I know. Just, just consider this a necessary evil for now. West I part of the island is just <sighs> placeholder. How is minimal contact work for me? Minimal contact? Are you kidding? <laughs> I get contacted constantly. Not through email, mind you, but like primarily messages. Messages and calls. They have to review stuff constantly. How's it going, dude? How's things? Okay, I will say, uh, aside from just the annoying situation with the fruit trees. This is looking good. Eating popcorn with furikake on it. Oh, nice. I read that as fruitcake. <laughs> That's like, wait a minute, fruitcake? Ugh. I did it at a glance. is causing me grief. It's more that so in order to lay out the rest of what I have planned I kind of have to move the trees to one part of the island temporarily. Like this clustering I, I'm not a fan of but it's just it's a necessary evil right now. But I'm gonna lay out all the trees in this plot of land pretty much. So then the rest of the island is clean. I can move the houses around easily where they need to go and the stores. And then once that's done, then I'll redistribute the trees across the island and then it'll look fine. Just trust the process. <laughs> ah, I know it's going to look bad initially. Jeez. Ugh. It's gonna... It's bothering me. It's already bothering me, but I'm gonna put up with it for a few days. At least collecting is gonna be easy. Do you ever just shove everything in a box just to make a room look neat? Because you don't have time to reorganize everything properly? That's what I'm doing. And then afterwards you take stuff out of said box and do it properly. I moved the toilet out of the lounge room. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, right. I thought you were talking about real life for a sec. I was like, what? The house. Wait, are you moving out? No! 
Ah, uh, fine. Since you're gonna get kicked to the curb eventually. Take all. Well, it's just so random. It's like, congratulations, you moved your toilet out of the, lo the lounge room. Like, what? <laughs> See any stuff? Let me know. Looking to sell some of it. Uh, no, I'm I'm good. <laughs> Taste too. Is this really the reason? He he got me to come here. All right, I gotta go. I should stay a bit longer. No, I got an idea. Since you here, want to play a game? All right. <sighs> Time for the greatest card sport ever invented. High card, low card. Do you want to hear how this works? Yeah. Nine cards, one to nine. I'm gonna draw the first card. Okay, well, I have to go to low card. Like, cool. Okay, can I go? Yes. Okay. I have this already. Why is he? He's being so nice, but I want. <laughs> I want to kick him out. He just has this look of skepticism. 24-7. Okay, well... He knows what's coming, that's why. Trying to grease the wheels, because he knows I'm going to kick him out. Oh, that's a real one. Bill's just there chilling. Okay. <laughs> I hate it. But I, I just got worried that it wasn't gonna fit. Have you ever have you ever started to sign a birthday card and you start using big letters? And then you run out of room and you start squishing the letters up? That's what I don't want to happen here. Don't want to run out of room. Literally every time you try to write a birthday card, yep. So what I'm doing is I'm squishing from the get-go. But also leaving a path for me to be able to walk. The fruit trees will be all clumped, and then all the other trees I will separate. Okay. I don't think I even planted any new peach trees, that's the scary part. Like, I think this is just how many I had by default. I see it, I'll get it. Okay. 
pilot's uniform. I've got to be close to being done. I'm getting all the peach ones first. Uh, let's eat. I mean, cramped or not, <laughs> it is neat. It's okay, just think of the greater good. in the training videos are bad. They generally are. Sometimes they get celebrities to do that stuff. Microsoft hired Jennifer Aniston and Matthew Perry to do a training video for Windows one time. You know, I'm surprised the shovel has not broken. Don't jinx it. Oh, it will break. It's, it's, it's imminent. Definitely imminent. Okay. Back to this abomination. <laughs> I should have at least done like an offset by one to, to make it varied, but I'm just too lazy. Would you believe it? Look at this. That's it. <laughs> wow. I actually fit in. Okay, so I need to think ahead here, but... this to move as well.
I think I only have three cherry trees. Still gotta move all the other ones though. Do you know what I always find funny about workplace videos, particularly ones teaching safety or something along those lines is like... For some reason, the examples they always show are exaggerated. It's almost like the people that are doing the thing that you're not supposed to do are just drunk. But they would have to be. <laughs> to do things in such a clumsy or just damn right stupid manner. It's like when you see those infomercials on TV and they're like, has this ever happened to you? And then it just shows someone that may as well be drunk as they're operating whatever they're trying to do. Damn it, I'm trying to peel this potato, but the skins are going everywhere. Look, they have potato all over my kitchen counter, on my sofa, even in the bed. What am I to do? Like... Just... I don't understand how they can be that incompetent. At some point I took off my pants and I don't know when. Oh, it was when I swapped into the, the flight attendant uniform, because that's a full outfit. I'm talking about in-game, not in real life, just to be clear. <laughs> took my pants off in-game. If I took my pants off in real life, I would have done it by now and you wouldn't know because it's just... The perks of just being a voice in the ether. Yes, I've just finished arranging these trees, so allow me to take off my pants now. I'm out of fruit. Okay. But I have collected all the fruit trees. If I'm not mistaken. So let's see. And now, I just distribute the rest of these trees neatly across what I have remaining. <laughs> I'm not going to dignify it with a response, Lolo. Some people just don't know what you're talking about. So these ones will not be as close together, I hope. If 
That's four. I'm just gonna try to plan this out accordingly. Just going for distribution. Let's see, that's seven. How many do I have on me? <laughs> well... I think it'll be fine. I just want them to not be so close together, that's all. That's 11 trees. At this point I'm just, well, I want it to be easy to net stuff. Shrimp chips. Well, they're not shrimp chips. We call them prawn crackers in Australia. Um, they're given out as freebies when you go to certain Chinese restaurants. Haven't had them in a long time just because the reason we got them was when I lived in the house with a bunch of people, it was just easy to reach a total where, yeah. It would warrant having one of those for free. I didn't plant any here because I just want to leave room for me to reform the river. Okay, let me plant the ones I have, but honestly, I, I almost feel like just chopping the other ones down and just leaving them. These are here just so I can still do bug catching. only recently tried prawns for the first time. Really? Man. Missing out. Especially if you like seafood. I think I'm gonna get rid of the the ones that haven't fully grown yet.
Wait, it makes a tiny stump. I didn't know that. We ate a ton of them at one of those seafood ball places. Oh, they're pretty good. Messy, but damn good. Yeah, okay, this makes it easier. Less trees to worry about. I mean, there's still quite a few around, but... Like, this one can remain here. I'm not doing anything yet, so... This one... wait. There we go. Your harassment training, anti harassment training. Congrats. I mean, for now. You're good for a year. You have to do it every year. How many do I have left to move? I have... There's still a bunch to move. Okay. Well, I'll just pick these. Tell your husband that he can't use the bathroom and see if you get reported. But I feel like you'd have to phrase it in a manner that makes it a work issue. And not a home issue. It's a work bathroom, it's work time. Bathroom ba breaks aren't work time, though. It's That's you doing a bodily function. Basic human right. It's not work time. They, would, they wouldn't be able to claim so. If someone will tell your floor manager that. Well, you know, managers can kick and scream all they want, but when push comes to shove, they would lose that fight. <laughs> if it were to go to the extreme of, like, going to court. Especially if you're not... Okay, if you're within reason, right? Like, obviously, if you're spending an hour in there, well, shit. Like, you take a newspaper or an iPad, then yeah, sure. But if you're, uh, like, concise... Oh, 
man. Look at how clean this looks. <laughs> it only took almost four hours. I gotta finish the job. I'm not done. Are there any more trees? I think that's it. I got all the trees. I guess since I have two energy left, I may as well put this more or less where I want it. Which is out of the way. I'm gonna put it here. Then you can st still see. Okay. Uh, the other thing I was going to do is a very minor thing. I mean, eh, I guess it's fine. I think they're okay. One might be off by one, but that's fine. These these are just my money trees. I'm gonna move this so it's like a little more randomly placed. And then that'll let me place one more here. Okay. Yes. An eternity. And I just gotta finish marking the path out. rather empty here, but that's fine. Uh. <sighs> really? Another one? Wait, Lola, you got berated for leaving through the front door? I don't know, man. Like, some of those things are just weird boomer thingies. It's one of those things that the reasoning is probably just because it's always been that way, but 
that's usually not a valid reason. It's just like, okay. Sometimes managers just do that as a bit of a power dynamic thing. It's just like authority. They show it in weird ways. Like they pick a very weird hill to die on, <laughs> but they will die on that hill. I mean, this is just purely so I know, but it's not that necessary. Okay, well... Aside from, uh, the obvious building shifting, that's it, look at that. is now ready for the great shuffle of housing. I guess I can leave this mode now. I'm always afraid to talk to them when they have that bubble above their head, but I don't think it's moving out bubble. Oh well, now that you're here, maybe you can help me out with a problem. I got carried away buying an open collar shirt. Wasn't sure what to do with my surplus, so thought I'd gift you what I don't need. Feel free to do whatever you want with your gift, governor. do this. I know, I, I hate it too. But see, now I don't have to think, it's just all the fruit. Is a thin one area. So I hear that Blizzard was bought by Microsoft. Yeah. It went through after how many months? We'll see what happens. I dug some holes here to put trees, but I guess it's no longer necessary. I don't know. You can hope that things will change, but. I'm not holding my breath. I hope they just get to be allowed to make fantasy games again without being riddled with monetization. Just ditch the live service thing, honestly. I'm at the point now where any game that markets itself as that is just not worth checking out. Because they're just designed in a very specific manner. And they don't really respect your time. Ultimately. Mm. 
imagine the copium needed to think being owned by Microsoft would make it better. I mean, the fact that Bobby Kotick is not going to be working for the company, I think by the virtue of that, it's already better. Don't get it, it's not a game, it's a service. Yeah, but here's my here's my advice, chat. This is these are the rules that I follow now. In terms of what decides if I buy a game. If they reveal a game and they show a trailer which is just like a cinematic or something and there's no gameplay, and the game comes with that within a year. Or two, don't buy it. Time and time again. <laughs> Just no gameplay, no buy. Simple rule. Second rule, any game that calls itself a live service or a product instead of a game, don't buy it. And free to play is like... <sighs> it, the term got ruined by mobile. Free to play is, yeah, it can be just as bad. There are a few exceptions, but generally speaking, anything that is free to play has been designed in a manner where gameplay or progress is sacrificed, so then it encourages people to buy stuff. Even if you don't buy stuff necessarily, like I get that people can play those games and not spend any money, right? That's fine. But fundamentally, the game has been held back in a way. Either way. Like, by design. So those are the games I tend to stay away from nowadays. And I'll tell you what, there's less frustration. I'm too afraid to plug this up, because I think it's going to pick the flower. I guess I could do this. There we go. So many options why I even play them, to be honest, because the problem is there are some games that weren't traditionally that. There were games whose franchises started off as being good games, and now they're kind of in this place where, thanks to the companies that own those games, they... They aren't that. So I don't blame people for holding out and wanting things... ...to not be that way. You should absolutely hold that ideal. Halo, yeah. Diablo is another one. Also stop pre-ordering, yeah. Unless the pre-order comes with... Like, I'll give you an example. The pre-order for Link's Awakening on the Switch came with a Game Boy steel case, and I wanted that. It looked cool. But if the pre-order, especially pre-ordering a digital title is just, there's no need to do that. It's a digital title, they're not going to run out of it. And usually the reward they give, it's if it's a cosmetic item, it's like... With pre-order cosmetic items... People don't I don't know, maybe I'm generalizing here, but... Because a lot of people have them, no one ends up using the pre-order items, really. Like, maybe 
for the first week or so of launch, but then after that, they're just forgotten. Pre-order to get early access. Ugh, that stuff, yeah. That's a frustrating one that they do now. Did channel points get reset? No. Try refreshing a page. I haven't done anything. They're controlled by Twitch. Okay, because I am lazy... And I don't want to make new fencing, I'm gonna just divide stuff. They briefly said you only had four points. <laughs> oh dear. Until I know specifically what fencing I'm using, I'm just doing this because generic enough. I mean, his house is moving tomorrow. Just want a better idea of how this is going to look. Oh yeah, this has to go. Okay. Still saving up to waste them. <laughs> I mean, one that people are doing more often now is the BRB contribution. Because that one's tangible and actually goes into the rotation of the BRB messages. I've been... I'm, I think I'm, like, very close to just removing that reward, the, the, the waste. Because so many times I get asked, wait, what do you get for it? I'm like, nothing. You don't get anything. This isn't like a mystery box situation here. It, it says it's a waste. It's a waste. People think it's like, you know, you win a car on the game show, and then the host comes out and says, you can take home the car, or you can have what's inside the box. Like, it's not a mystery box. Hey Sandy, how's it going? Hang on. This should... One of these is correct. I don't know which one. But let's just assume that. Okay. 
again. I, I am aware this is not looking good. But once I move the houses, it'll work. At least let you do it before you remove it. Okay. Yeah. I can... I can definitely do that. Do I not want to give these a front yard of some sort? Let me look at the map. Nah, it's fine. Make it super. I mean, they're gonna have enough anyway. You made the decision you were gonna save up for it. <laughs> All those years ago? Man. Alright, well I'll leave it in until then. Again, I haven't decided it. It's just more of just... Whenever that... Qu whenever the question pops up... That's when I'm like, man, I need to get rid of this. <laughs> so as long as the question doesn't pop up again... As long as the question doesn't pop up again, it's fine. I have not been doing any goals today. I just did so much knock mile grinding yesterday, I, I didn't want to do any today. I wanted this to be purely... ...setting up this town. Or at least the grid of it. Then you have the, uh... The picture of where this is going now. And now this is at least clean. Oh, Lala, thanks for giving out all those gift subs, man. Appreciate it a lot. That familiar name's got it too. Okay, I need to do more fencing. I think it's just hardwood? I can't remember. I hope it's hardwood. It's not damn. Softwood? Okay, it's software. Good. I have a large uh, discrepancy in wood types. Massive stack. Mm. 
wish you could create multiple. <laughs> Everyone does, yeah. Just watch, when they introduce it, they're gonna make it sound like just the best invention ever. Okay. I will have to go on another Nook Mile grind, but not not anytime soon. <laughs> He's I don't know. He's stuck what let's see. So, well, didn't you say you wanted a concierge uniform the other day? Did I really say that? I was cleaning my place when I found a concierge uniform. Isn't he leaving? Um, I'm moving his house, yes, but he's not leaving yet. Like, I need to get the whole thing to trigger where he's leaving. It'll happen. Just take some effort. Once the speech bubble appears, I just gotta not have the conversation, just close the game. And then eventually I'll get to pick him to leave. Just gotta be patient enough. Oh, I haven't even marked- well, I haven't marked these ones where the house is gonna go. Um... I guess it only makes sense, hang on. Great. Put it here. This one can be, yeah, there. That works. This... Did I hear fleas? I thought I heard a flea. Okay, well, I took this off. Too early. I've got to think about having a clear way as well, so I can... It's okay. Oh, these need to move. getting rid of this. This should still be usable. <laughs> I just didn't leave him anywhere, he's just now on an island. That's it. Just waiting for the construction crew to move his house and then he'll be freed.
The only liberty I'm going to take... Pretty much is just having, like, a clear way. Which will be through here. I'll just remove that stone. And... In the middle, roughly. There we go. Just so I can run through. <laughs> For now. Everyone's very friendly. They have a hole in their fence so they can just walk through. That's the story I'm going with. Would I be open to something like Project Zomboid? Uh, I haven't played it before. I assume it's, like, Left 4 Dead. I mean, once we got through Boulder's Gate, sure. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to start new stuff before wrapping up stuff that I have in progress. More in line with Rimworld or Valheim. Oh. It's more of a... Okay. Interesting. If it's more like Valheim, sure. Rimworld... I like, I like Rimworld as a game, but... Just how quickly it goes from everything being fine... To just an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> yeah. I'd be down, but gotta get through Boulder's Gate first. I would hate to leave that, like, half done, you know?
Project Zomboid is fun, but very unforgiving. Oh. Okay. I don't mind unforgiving. It's more of a, like, if I have to do micromanagement, that's where I'm not great. Or if I have to... One thing I'm absolutely horrendous at, if there's the concept of uh, starvation. Like, I, I'm just terrible at keeping track of having to eat. And it's a case of, I, I play games to chill and just when games have that kind of mechanic, I don't know, it's just too much thinking. It has a hunger system. Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of hunger systems. Just my opinion of them, and this is just my opinion. It's just extra busy work. I don't know. It, it doesn't really add too much to the experience for me, having to remember to eat. It's like, why draw the line there? Why not, like, just go full out and go, well, if you're gonna eat, if you're gonna have to remember to eat because you starve, you have to remember to go to the bathroom and just, you may as well go the whole human experience at that point. It's got a lot of micromanagement. Well, when I say micromanagement, I mean, like, controlling multiple units micromanagement. I don't mind moving parts, provided it's not something where, like, you know, there are two independent things that I need to control, and they each have a mind of their own. Like, you know, something like Warcraft, for example. Like, RTSs are just not my thing, because of the mi micromanagement involved in them. Not saying that Warcraft's a bad game, it's just I suck at them. <laughs> That's basically it. But I have played plenty of things that are punishing. There's the sleep, hunger, a fair bit to manage. Yeah, that's more... That's not really the kind of micromanagement I was referring to. The micromanagement I was referring to is more multi-unit control, because I, I just... I, I'm horrendous at that. But, just... Okay, the, o the only thing is, like, if I'm playing with friends, that's the only thing that would sway me to to try a game like that. But if I'm playing on my own, I wouldn't play a game like that. Let's put it that way. Is, is that better? Like, take Overwatch, for example. I enjoy playing that game when I play it with friends. If I... Would I ever play that game by myself? Absolutely not. <laughs> so... It could be one of those. It could be... You never know. Maybe I might like it. In the context of playing with friends. Solo cute Overwatch, and that's a flat hell no. Yeah. I can't do that to myself. You are just watching that clip when you kicked that Gen Genji to death trying to ult you. Yeah, and that was funny. Like, if you say, hey, you want to play some Overwatch? I'm down, man. Good times. But 
for me to play that on my own? Nah. I probably shouldn't have raced before. Uh oh. I mean, it's okay. Like, it's just this, right? Yeah. Well, sort of. Boulder's Gate first, yeah. We need to get through that. Maybe during the end of your break, when I get more time. It's not too far away. I will still play Sea of Stars. I just want to finish what I'm doing. I honestly commend you all if you've been watching me do this for hours. It's been a while since I've done something like this. The last time I did something like this was like the... The farm on Stardew, where I just completely decorated the whole thing. I honestly can't remember how much time that took, but it was a long time. Sometimes just hours of me putting paths down just to make a grid. You propose a 74 hour lock in stream, not allowed to leave until we finish Boulder's Gate. Not back to back. However, if you want to, like, play a bunch of hours, sleep, get up, then play more, well, I'd be down for that. I just don't believe in the, like, marathon thing anymore. When I play games for a lengthy amount of time, it's like at least six hours. So it's not it's not nothing, but it's not staying up <laughs> for 24 hours. It's honestly better from a streaming perspective if you actually get some rest for a few hours. Because when you don't rest, it's very easy to stop talking. Or just zone out, and it's probably not the best from a viewing experience. At least I think so. Animal Crossing is relaxing. Really enjoy tuning into a new Twitch channel. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. When it comes to these games, I just always have to do something along these lines. Just... I'm not saying I'm good at it. But, I make an effort. Well, yeah, I mean, I need the- I need the app that'll let me get custom... ...pathing and all that stuff. Cause right now I'm just using the stock stuff and... Well, it at least gives you a picture of what I'm trying to go for, it's not really what I have in my head. Can you move bridges? You can only destroy them, so that's a bit of a bummer. I will have to destroy one bridge. Yeah. It's expensive, yep. It sure is. That's the idea, is you just spend as much time as you need to. I have to leave a gap, because otherwise I don't think they can leave their houses. <laughs> I don't want that to happen, so uh, yeah, let's just be safe. But at the very least, I'm laying down. The majority of, uh, the fencing. 
And then once I get to actually decorating the villager that's going to live there, then I'll pick correct fencing and all that stuff. It's just easier to visualize what I'm going for if I lay down the fencing. I wish there were gates in this game. Okay. Did I do this right? I think it's actually here. I mean, it's not <laughs> a shit. That's not a very useful walkthrough. Hang on. That's not useful at all. Let me move it. How about here? That's better. It's just, if I'm gonna have this whole narrow road thing, I need it to be, yeah. Something I can walk through easily. Should still be able to place the bridge. Okay. And then, yeah, I guess no fencing. It's just. Well, I guess I could go this way. Yeah, let's just do that. Already 11 o'clock. Man. I wanted to watch more Kitchen Nightmares, but I don't know if there'll be time. I guess if I just do an hour and a half of Sea of Stars, I can squeeze it in. Wait, is that in line or? I can't tell. <laughs> I think this is fine, and if it's not, I'll fix it later.
Okay. But that roughly does it. The only other thing I can do is just... Mark where the houses are gonna go. Yeah. Um. One here because I want to keep a back. I guess a clear way as well. mark the house here but the house for this one will be like here ish or I could put it against the property line I guess because this is kind of awkward and unusable this one would kind of make sense to put against the property line I mean, we'll see how it looks. I don't have to hard commit to it, but I'm leaning towards it being like this. Because this is just too awkward to shape anything with. And I'm gonna restructure the shape of it a little bit, so it should be a better piece of land eventually. Yeah? Um, how much is for this bridge? Let's see how much funds I have. Oh, oh man. <laughs> yeah, easy. Zero, 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 zero. So that bridge will be in tomorrow. I need to get rid of that rock.
the island looks so clean except when you go to the uh the west the west side of the island is a bit of a mess. Okay, I need to get rid of this last rock. I am very lazy. And then I'm just gonna hope that this doesn't appear somewhere else that's gonna be in the way, but otherwise There you go. That's the groundwork done more or less. Another four hours of work. But at least now it's just a matter of moving the houses where they need to be. And destroying that bridge and recreating it, but... I think this is gonna look nice, it's just... Obviously the side of the island... I mean, okay, it's like... It's got a bit of a woods vibe going to it, and a, <laughs> a random flower garden, but... It just kills me to see this, but I have no choice. Like, what was I gonna do? Oh, it even it even lags a little. You can look, just yeah. It doesn't like this many trees that close together. Okay. Just trust the process. Eventually, I will distribute all that stuff across the island properly. And then it'll look good. It's just right now, I think it's better to just get them out of the way, do what I need to do, and then move them into places where I want them to be. And even then, I think I'm gonna, like, ditch a bunch of them. Okay, but I'm happy with this. The setup is here. Alright, well. It's a good time <laughs> to stop. Okay. Well, I'm done with Animal Crossing for now. So, if you are checking this out later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you enjoyed this lengthy building session. And if you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just click one of those buttons, particularly the ones that have a thumbs up on them. It helps out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. Or uh, you can watch me do something else with one of the other two videos that may have popped up on your screen. But we'll see you next time, YouTube. Take care.